What if Goku was born as Goku Black? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 5? I will not let you destroy my world! You see this? This is Goku Z if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on what if Goku was born as Goku Black, we mentioned that Goku has now arrived towards the Galactic Patrol world as he was now arrested but from there he managed to go break free and when he saw Moro, Moro hit and battle has begun. Goku told Moro to bend the knees but Moro disagreed and from there they went and rushed towards each other and when Moro tried to attack Goku, Goku was overpowering him as he went and he took out his sight. Upon seeing that, Moro has gave up the battle and agreed to be on Goku's side. Before anything can happen, Mirrors has now arrived as he made a decision to kill Goku at any cost because he really loves his universe and he heard that Goku's plan is to do Project Zero Mortal and destroy anyone that are mortals. Mirrors then went and used his staff and he began to beat the shit out of Goku. Goku went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose. Despite using his Super Saiyan Rose power, he still didn't stand a chance against Mirrors as Mirrors was easily beating the shit out of Goku and when Mirrors began to use his angel power, he has now ceased to exist due to the fact that angels are not allowed to get involved in mortal matters. Goku has come right back to Earth but he realized that he's too weak and if he wants to win this Project Zero Mortal plants, he needs to get stronger. He has now went and collected Super Dragon Balls and wished to become invincible. With that wish, Goku is now ready to take on anyone as Frieza has now finished his 7 months training and now he's coming to fight with Goku. Find out what happened inside this part. What if Goku was born as Goku Black? Part 5 Goku has now wished to become invincible as he has now become the one thing you can never beat. Not even a deity or anyone who tries to beat him will not be able to beat Goku because he is a deity with a Saiyan body that can never get hurt and with each damage he takes it will only help him to get stronger since it will automatically recover and give him a new fresh body. From there, once he got this power. He instantly recovered from his fight with Mirrors and he got a huge Zenkai boost while doing so. Goku has now returned right back to Earth where Piccolo saw him and from there he noticed that Goku looked kinda different and that he actually was feeling different too and from there he said, What happened to you Goku? Why do you look kinda different? Well, I can't really tell it but there's something that happened. <laughs> this time Piccolo, no one will come in our path. Getting Project Zero Mortal underway will be an easy thing for us. I cannot tell but there's something different about you. Oh well, what's your plan now? Destroy all the Dragon Balls so that no one can undo what we have done. I have already destroyed a Super Dragon Ball once I got my wish. The Super Dragon Ball? Is there a such thing? Yes, I have gone and used that, that's where I was gone and I made a wish for myself. With that, I went and destroyed it for good so no one can undo what I did. <laughs> Piccolo couldn't comprehend what he was hearing, but at the same time, he was helping Goku so he supported Goku's idea. And with that, Goku decided to go to a planet called Planet Namek, as they have now set a course since they had Dragon Balls there. While they were coming, Frieza has also arrived on Planet Namek. Since he got the news from his men that they heard a myth about something called the Dragon Ball, he wanted to go check it out himself to see if it's true or not. Because Frieza's plan was if there is such thing as a Dragon Ball, he would wish to become immortal and never die. With that, Frieza, Vegeta and Nappa has already arrived. As they are planning on taking Frieza down once when he gets a Dragon Ball, Vegeta made a plan that him and Nappa would go and quickly wish for themselves to be immortal so they can kill Frieza. While Frieza's plan was to once when he gets immortal, he would go and kill Vegeta and Nappa and then make his way towards Goku. Once when Frieza got to Planet Namek, he has begun searching for them while Goku has now Kai Kai to Planet Namek. Piccolo saw all the Namekians were there as he had an idea to be able to catch up to Goku's strength so he decided to go and have a full battle with all the Namekian so that he can go and fuse with them and gain their power. That way he won't be left behind when it comes to strength 
matching with Goku. While Goku on the other hand sends Frieza's energy and as he was surprised to see that a mortal can be this strong and from there he decided to go see where Frieza is as he has now gone in Kai Kai right next to where Frieza was and at the same time Frieza was in the middle of holding on to the fourth Dragon Ball. Once when he laid his eyes on Goku, he was shocked to see that Goku has arrived out of nowhere while Vegeta and Nappa were confused on what was happening and who he is. Goku saw Frieza with the Dragon Balls and said, Listen here you mortal, hand over that Dragon Ball and you may live or else I'll kill you where you stand. Oh uh, my lord, this is the man that killed your father. So I finally get to meet you huh at last. Since we're here how about I go and kill you first that way I can celebrate my victory with the Dragon Ball what do you say? <laughs> is that so? Just tell me how would you manage to kill me? Oh, I know, how about this? I will only use one hand and if you beat me the Dragon Balls are all yours to use. What do you say mortal? Ha! <laughs> okay then it's your funeral, now die! Without wasting any time. Frieza went and he has now transformed into his final form. With that Frieza has now become into his final form while Vegeta and Nappa were shocked to see since this were their very first time ever witnessing Frieza's power. Frieza then looked towards Goku and said, well then, I can tell that you're probably a monkey like them, so how about you come and see how strong you are? You may have been stronger than my father, but you don't stand a chance against me now, I'll show you in first hand. Frieza went and rushed right towards Goku as he decked him, but Goku managed to move out of the way and with that, Frieza went and he kicked Goku right in his face, getting Goku to be sent flying towards the water. Goku then got up as he continued to smile, while Frieza went and he continued to attack Goku, but he went and dodged all of his attack. With that, Goku went and kneed Frieza right in his face as he threw him right towards the ground. Seeing that got Frieza really angry as he went and started to power up a lot of death beam and aimed it towards Goku, while Goku went and hit the beam away and one of the beam went and hit Nappa as he got killed right there. Vegeta saw that as he didn't know what to do but Goku went and he rushed right towards Frieza and striked him as he followed and continued to attack him non-stop and said, Is this all you got? Here I thought that you'd be some big shot but you're nothing but a weakling. Oh well, I could expect less from a mortal. I guess being weak runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> you may be stronger here monkey, but good thing I have come prepared for this battle. Now let me show you what you're really facing. Frieza has now transformed into his golden form. <laughs> you see this monkey? This is the power which everyone wants and you can call this golden Frieza. As Goku could sense that his power had skyrocketed but he didn't seem impressed as he looked towards Frieza and said, hmm that's not bad mortal but as a mid I am not impressed at all. This is all you got. What? What do you mean? <laughs> well for a lonely creature you have come quite far. But for now, I'll show you how far I have come. Uh, what is he? Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose as he looked towards Frieza and said, You can call this form Rose, just like how you call yourself Golden Frieza, right? Let's see you handle me in my Rose form. Vegeta on the other hand couldn't stop staring at Goku's power as he was completely speechless and had no idea just what transformation Goku has used since he has never heard of a Saiyan go pink hair. With that, Goku and Frieza's second round has now begun. Frieza went and rushed right towards Goku as he tried to hit him but Goku went and caught his fist and he twisted it and from there he went and kicked Frieza right in his guts and from there he went and followed as he started to attack him. Both of the power clashed with one another. Both Goku and Frieza were going at it trying to overpower each other and while they were fighting, 
the planet was being unstable as Piccolo went and he managed to fuse with most of the Namekians that were there, getting their power and having huge boosts towards his own power gave him the push that he needed to be at least somewhere around Goku's level. But from there, Piccolo noticed Goku and Frieza's aura was coming far from the east as he was surprised to see that and from there, he wanted to make his way to see the battle of Goku and Frieza while Goku and Frieza were going at it. Goku then went and used his speed as he came right towards Frieza and he kicked him while Frieza got mad and so he went and powered up a blast to destroy Planet Namek and aimed it towards it. Once when the smoke cleared, Goku saw that Frieza began to laugh and said, <laughs> You may be strong monkey but you only have 5 minutes to survive. Is that all? Let's make it 2, what do you say? Goku went and powered up another blast and aimed it towards Namek. As Namek couldn't handle the amount of power gang sucked inside there and from there, lava started to pour out as the entire atmosphere has become nothing but a volcano lava. Goku then looked towards Frieza and said, You feeble mortal! You think just because I'm a Saiyan I cannot breathe in space? I'm a god! I can breathe anywhere! Goku went and charged towards Frieza and started to beat the shit out of him. Frieza at his golden form didn't stand a chance against Goku, while Goku was overpowering him and from there he went and powered up a blast and he aimed it right towards Frieza. Frieza went and tried to block it but he saw that Goku came right next to him as he used his scythe and from there he went and striked Frieza right in his stomach, cutting him in half and from there Goku went and cut him again as he cut his arm out, leaving Frieza to be armless and from there he said, This is your place, you're nothing but dog food, now die. Goku went and powered up a black Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Frieza as it hit him head on and he died right there. Vegeta was completely shocked as he had no idea what was going on and said, uh, Who is this guy? Hmm, looks like we still got a mortal living. I must go finish the job. Goku! Holy man! You had to always show up, huh? <laughs> did you get the Dragon Ball Piccolo? I sure did. Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Was Born As Goku Black. Make sure you click the bell my Z thing so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can become the first Z Fighters.